So, what's going on? Um, last night when we were playing World of Warcraft, like we went into the dungeon, and I guess there's a, a girl you talk to, and then she starts off the battle, and I just talked to her instantly in the battle. Yeah, so, who? who I don't know, I'm confused. Like, well, I did the same thing with the recording button. Just oh, I got gotcha. you. There was like no lead in or anything. You just, you just start. Yeah. No. That's how you roll, though. That's how Ian Crossland works. Because that, yeah. Well, yeah. Are we on Ian Crossland here or Cross Mac? Ian Crossland, unless it goes over 11 minutes. Oh, then it goes on to Cross Mac. That's how it works. That's good to know. Yeah. So, I like your place. It's pretty. You know, I feel like uh, I know it. You know, it's like a, the set of a TV show. You know, we, I've seen it so many times. Yeah. And here it is. I slept on this last night. It seems a little redundant. You just couldn't make it up to your bed? Yeah, I get like, something about this comforts me. I don't know if that's... The, the camera? No, the computer. Oh, just like your con that's your connection to the world? Or oh, yeah, probably. Maybe. I, I like it. Ooh. Like, I'll, sometimes I'll play the music while yeah. I'm sleeping, but usually I... I don't know, dude. Is that is that weird that I'm like... Comforted by my computer? I think a lot of people probably are there, or by their TV, or by their pet, or their music, or we find things to comfort us, right? Yeah. Food. So you would put like electronics on par with, uh, with like, I uh, mean, organic components like animals and things? You know, I guess it is what it is to you, right? I mean, if some people, their computer, it's more important to them than a pet. That's why they don't have a pet, or that's why they don't pay attention to their pet. But I don't know if you can... I guess most people would say if it's a living, it's a little more important, but I think yeah. that's kind of a relative thing. Like being alive. Being alive, but I mean, but then what about like mosquitoes or spiders? Yeah. We don't really value those. I try to. Do you? I, yeah. I used to do that. How was it? It's hard. I used to... That's it's really embarrassing. Really? There's a spider that lived in my room, and I became attached to it, like Charlotte's Web. And I was like, that's a cool spider. He's going to eat bugs and stuff, so I didn't kill it. People used to make fun of me because it's kind of weird, but, you know, I felt like it's a living thing, you know. But then I kill, you know, bugs and mosquitoes all the time and kill most spiders, so. It was a one-time thing. It was a real connection with that spider, I think. So... Anyway. <laughs> but I have found with bugs and stuff, and mice, if I ever have like a, an animal in my apartment of any kind, mm -hmm. if I kill it, uh, it's not really good. Like uh, you never know what'll happen next. Like you karma might, wise, or yeah, like you, or, you might even see more bugs. Because they come because it's dead. Probably like they smell it or they sense it or they're like ah. Oh, but like I took it outside. Mm -hmm. I've been taking them outside. When I take a bug outside or an animal outside, like a, I had a mouse that I took outside too. They. They never come back. It's like, yeah. or for a long time, they'll be. It's interesting. They'll, maybe they see like, because I'm trying to show them it's better out there, like yeah. it's safer out there than yeah, here, yeah. because of the way the human mind. So yeah. we're, we're trying to kill you. Is there? Well, there are things are trying to kill them, but I think they mostly come in, you know, probably for food or in the winter for warmth. Yeah. You know, because it's cold. It's a little warmer here. I, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I really feel like this is really boring. How can we make this better? Music, maybe? I don't you know, want to play some music? music thing, but, oh yeah, put some or music talk, on, talk about something you normally talk about. Well, like dy women? Dynamics. Oh, yeah, you can talk about women. The reason I'm not dating women is because I fucking talk about them too much. So say that. Oh, yeah. You know Rocking into the night. I was um listening to uh oh shit what was it? It was a song oh bare naked ladies mm. and it was Stephen the guy yeah singing and I heard him last night and for the first time I thought he's so annoying he didn't like him it like yeah I was like if if I was the woman or the person he was singing about. I would be like, get out of my life. You wouldn't like that at all. And I realized, yeah, because I, I was thinking, like, if I write songs about girls, that's all I have to do. But in truth, like, you gotta be cool, man. Like, it's gotta, you gotta be cool, and it's gotta be a cool song. I would uh, think. That's probably it. It was, yeah. it was this, it was a real shitty song, too. He was singing about, like, it was called Box, My Box Set or something. Ooh. Was that, did that mean something? He was, like, coping with his new fame. Oh, well, there it is. 
because I guess this was their first album and they probably got pretty well known. Um, I don't really want to. Yeah, we don't. Uh, okay, anyway. And anyway. He, he's singing. <laughs> so you're saying you were saying the reason you don't have a girl right now is because you talk too much about them. You think? Maybe you, you spend too much time talking, less doing. Yeah, less it, doing. Or... It could be that, or it could be that I'm still in the process of talking out the groundwork before I get it. But like yesterday, I was thinking of work. I was like. I'm on the verge of something big. With a girl? Yeah. Really? With a girl at work? With a girl I was talking to at work, and then, wow. and then uh, Phoenix was her name. I never know about using people's names, but it's not so bad. It's not so bad. But I just had an interaction with her, and I was like, okay, that was good. That was like much more calm than I've been for a few years. Yeah. And I'm on the verge of something big. It wasn't perfect. Like big, like this could go somewhere cool or special. Yeah. And not even with her, in myself, I was like, I'm changing. I'm about to evolve into something. Wow, that's cool. You felt your evolution a little bit. Those moments in life where you just you feel that transition, the change. You can already see your old self. Like it kind of happened right there. Yeah. Yeah, there you. And then I told the other girl that I was afraid of people, and she she bailed. And then I was like, <laughs> she just said that to her. You're like, I'm afraid of people. Yeah. Out of nowhere, it wasn't like prompted by something. It, it was like a kind of prompted, like we were sitting there, and I was talking about how there's a party on last Friday outside in yeah. the courtyard, and there's like. 50, 80, I, 80 people, I don't know, yeah. but I didn't go. Why not? I, I just couldn't, I was so afraid, afraid of the people, I was so afraid, like... I've noticed that about you sometimes. <sighs> Dude, like, if you meet, I don't know, because I don't know what to say to all these people, and I feel like if I don't talk to all of them, then I failed. Like you, like you failed in your own mission, or you failed like you were rude to people that you didn't talk to? Like, why do you have to talk to every single person? Sorry, I just had a... A thought about how if this video is long, but I guess that's okay if it's long. It's probably really awesome for people to watch this. Wait, so w the 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 feel? Oh, dude, I just fucking jacked it up. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? I feel, like, I feel like I fail <laughs> like the overarching stretch if I ignore some people. But maybe the tendency is to have like an inner core of people and then a bunch of outer people. Yeah, I feel like that happens. Anytime you go to a party and you don't know anyone, it's a little hard. You know, you either you have to go into super social mode and, like, you know, go up to everyone, just be really outgoing. And that can be kind of draining. Otherwise, you just kind of sit there by yourself. But if you go with your core of people, you know, you got your friends, you your safety net there that you can talk to, but then you all kind of venture off and talk to girls or talk to different people or and kind of meet up later. And you've have these shared experiences. Oh. So it's more, I think parties are more fun if you're there with a few people. Not where you like just stay with those people the whole time, but you know. Yeah, dude. Because even in passing, like we're walking in the hallway and it's like like a, like a pointing and then yeah. you like go to your things. And it's exactly. Like energy. We were just talking about that walking down the hallway at YouTube Live when I saw you with your guitar and I said, Crossin, where are you going with that guitar? What would you say? To the top. Exactly. Or did I say straight to the top? I think you said straight to the top. But it was so like you didn't even think about it. But mm -mm. Straight to the top. I did. I, I, like, I had a feeling. Really? I, like, I was like almost afraid of saying it. Yeah. But then I said it because I felt it. And I was I like, felt it. that's what I would say. And people love that line. When I told everyone in the hotel room about that line, they straight loved it. The top, they said, that's awesome. Because we'll you know you have direction. You know where you're going. You. It's all about knowing, having some vision of where you want to be. Yeah. So that you can manifest that. So that's why I'm doing the music. Because like... That's huge. If you can pull people with some music, you can get like so many people involved, and then we can just do like conscious stuff, like yeah. you know, whatever. Like I don't know, the music. The music is what's going to bring people in. So, like, once that happens, is that is that not good to think about what what after that? Because right now, that's what's happening. I mean, I think you focus on the now, but you have, you know, an idea of the future. Yeah. So that you, that's always in the back of your mind. But how do you? Uh, facilitate that at this moment. Um, trying to make good friends that'll like do it for me because I don't know. That'll do the music for you or no? The the, the after that, like other people I know, like I can rely on them to build stuff or buy. build stuff like social functions and things like the MySpace's Facebook things. Or? Oh, that's pretty good. Like or someone builds a web a website series or a web, oh, a web series or website or. And then I thought, like, Chris was talking about making the streets, Melrose and Santa Monica, one way, both of them. Interesting. Like, Going opposite direction. Yeah. Wow, so just fly. Like, you, 
That's the way it happened in New York. You know, like, just that. It's going one way. That's Not the avenues as much, but the streets. Yeah, in Chicago, too. And it's like Santa Monica, everyone's going west. Yeah, and that way, that way there would be no tr left turns. Yeah. You would, nobody would be it's waiting like at all. I mean, there would be left turns from the left lane, but there would be no... In on That's interesting. Track. That's interesting. That's interesting. You should uh, propose that to the city planning board. I want to run for mayor. Do you? Yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> Because I, 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 I would like, I would, I would follow you around with that, dude. Yeah, it'd be easy to do too. Because it's is just there, like, no. Is there, is there, is there an age restriction on that? Or I'm not? like thirty-two or something. Maybe you the next that, one. You got that covered.